name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters. We are here to reflect on the Gospel for today from St. John and to especially focus on the verse from John 10, 10. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. In today's Gospel, Jesus tells us the parable of the shepherd. In this parable, he portrays himself as the shepherd and we as his sheep. He further explains that the sheep follows the voice of the shepherd and enters the gate to find pasture. However, whoever does not enter the sheepfold by the gate but climbs through some other way can be stated and called as a thief or a robber. Jesus also says that he is the gate for the sheep. All who came before him are thieves and bandits. Whoever enters by him will be saved. The thief only comes to steal, kill and destroy. But Jesus came so that we may have life and have it abundantly. Now what does Jesus mean by having life and having it abundantly? Jesus wants us to accept him and to hear his calling. In this manner, we will be able to fulfill our mission on earth, that is, to love and serve God. By accepting Christ as our Good Shepherd, we are guaranteed to find pasture. For a sheep, this means sufficient food, safety from predators and peaceful relationship with other sheep. Jesus promises life in abundance for those who live according to His will and accept Him. Obviously. This life in abundance does not mean material wealth and success. The food, safety and peace that he promises are spiritual but no less real. As it is said in Matthew chapter 4 verse 4, For man does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Let's reflect by asking ourselves whether do I value what he values? Do I truly hunger for spiritual food? Do I hanker after superficial and vain matters that could never satisfy my soul? If we want to experience life at its fullest, we would ask what would Jesus have me to do? How can I be more faithful to Him? As we bring our lives into compliance with Jesus' will, He blesses us with abundant life. That does not necessarily mean health or wealth. It means abundance, which has more to do with what is in our hearts than what is in our hands. The joy our Lord wishes to pour into our heart can be received only if we permit our heart to be detached and emptied of whatever keeps me away from Him. Even in this pandemic, we can answer Jesus' call and share His abundant life with others not only in material ways, but we can help them to grow in spiritual life as well. By sharing God's word with others, we can reduce their burden, thus helping them to increase their faith in Christ. Even by giving a moral support or by giving a shoulder to lean on, we can imitate Christ as He was always there for the poor and the underprivileged. Thus they may find hope in Christ and will be able 
to strive through the situation in a better manner let's conclude with a hymn and a prayer at the last new life new life you came to bring us new life new life new life we find such joy in your abundant life you are the source of our great joy the fountain of our lives you give us living water you bid us come and reign we come to you we bless you lord we glorify your name We praise you Lord we worship you we thank you for your gift of new life we find such joy in your abundant life let's pray together oh lord thank you for reminding us of your great love help us to be the good sheep that hears your call so that we too may be able to imitate you to fulfill our christian duties help us lord to receive your grace of abundant life that you have promised to us grant us the strength and courage to not get carried away by the worldly pleasures but to live as a sheep that follows their master's voice we make this prayer to christ our lord amen i pray that you all may have a wonderful day god bless thank you